Rocket on Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. To many of today's children who grew up in the cities and suburbs, milk only comes in a carton. But the old milk bucket is still a familiar sight on many of our nation's farms and ranches. It symbolizes a rural lifestyle where neighbors actually talk to each other, even if they live miles down the road. But this particular bucket and the story that goes with it symbolize something very different, the unexplainable. My wife Maggie and I and our seven-year-old daughter Amy are part of a small, close-knit community of farmers who share and trade food among ourselves. It's a simple kind of life. Nothing very special ever happens, except for last spring. That is something we'll be talking about forever. Hey, Gus! It all started with Gus Hobbs, a dairy farmer who lives down the road. He's been delivering milk to our farm for years. You get the very thing. I sure have. Every Sunday, like clockwork, Gus drops off a week's supply of fresh milk in an old dented metal dairy bucket. Sure was a wonderful sermon. Ah, oh, truly was. Very uplifting. You know. Eh. Either this bucket is getting heavier, or I'm getting older. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think it's a bucket, Gus. <laughs> well, how you doing, baby girl? You sure was the prettiest little thing in church today. Hey, what is that back of your ear? Well, look at there. Thank you, Gus. Oh, don't thank me. It's magic. <laughs> As your empty Gus. See you next week. That's right. Come hell or high water. There are two things in this life you can always count on. Gus and taxes. Gus? Gus? I got something for you. Hey, what's this? Yeah, it's just your favorite. Strawberry and rhubarb. <laughs> well, bless you, little heart, Maggie. I'll probably start eating this on the way home. <laughs> See ya. Oh, Lord, let us give thanks for what we are about to receive. Amen. A week passed and a fierce storm hit early on Sunday. No one got to church that morning. That's the last of the milk. I really don't know if Gus will be able to get through in this weather. It's blowing up a gale outside. Well, you know, it might clear up. It might come later. Look, Gus's bucket is shaking. What are you talking about? It was shaking. You saw it. <laughs> well, now we know that uh, you think that Gus can do magic, but I don't think that his bucket will move on its own. It was probably just a vibration from the fridge motor. No, yeah, storm's starting to break. Maybe we'll get some milk today after all. about okay take it easy there's got to be a simple explanation no 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 no, no, no be, be careful eh? well, there's nothing inside maybe the pressure built up because of the storm Although I will admit it, it does seem a little strange. That ought to hold it. Oh, 
I drove as quickly as I could to Gus Hobbs' dairy farm. It was only a short distance down the road, but with that mysterious bucket next to me, it seemed like the longest ten minutes of my life. Gus! I was able to get Gus to a local hospital where they saved his life. He had suffered a stroke that certainly would have killed him if I hadn't shown up when I did. Thanks to that crazy bucket. What could the explanation for this be? Were there gases trapped within the milk bucket that caused the activity? Or was there some spirit using the bucket to send a distress signal on behalf of Gus Hobbs? Is this story of the milk can that seems possessed the truth? Or are we simply taking a lie and milking it? for all it's worth. We'll find out whether this story is true or false at the end of our show. Next, the internet gives a young woman the shock of her life on Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction.